everybody, this is Christian from RGV Custom Sabers. Today I've got a saber for Paul. It's a Corbanth K4. Um, it's been uh, slightly worn on the, the exterior. Um, when I received the hilt, the threads, the threads for the neck were locked. Um, and I ended up uh, breaking the, the wind vane. Uh, attempting to get it off because I had to get it off so I could install it and it just would not come off. Um, I got it off eventually. It the the threads on the neck end were were messed up, but I mean you know they still they still work. So I got a I contacted Corbanth. I got a new I ordered a new wind vane, but he ended up sending me a whole new neck. So I just replaced the whole uh, the whole neck. Um, uh, other than that, the install went relatively smoothly. Um, the internals are a tri Cree royal blue, blue, white, um, with the uh, modified heat sink solution. Uh, you'll see it in here. Let me uh, refocus my camera. There we go. You'll see it in there. Um, the heat sink, uh, the heat sink itself that holds the lend in place was uh, was cut down and is held in place by a retention screw, so you get maximum blade depth. And then the uh, the blade holder itself acts as the heat sink to dissipate the heat from the LED. Um, uh, inside, it's got an 18650 lithium ion battery from the Custom Saber Shop. We've got a 12 uh, millimeter recharge port, a 20 millimeter base speaker from the Custom Saber Shop. Uh, it's a Nano Biscotti version four with three sound fonts. Two are uh, the uh, two of the original sound fonts on there, light meat and gray meat, and then the third one was requested by Paul. It's Graflex 4 HD. Um, they all have custom boot ups. Uh, Paul requested to have Obi Wan saying hello there on the Graflex 4 HD. Uh, that was the only custom boot he requested. The rest are just Obi Wan boots that I added on there. Um, the activation buttons are here and here. They both function as activation. Um, yeah, so I will, uh, I'll open it up. I'll show you SD card access and uh, where, to, where your charge port is. Okay, so this is a Sly Tools chassis for the K4. Your recharge port is right here for your 12 millimeter uh, wall charger. Um, and then your Nano is right here. There's the, the uh, power extender right behind it. Um, but all you have to do is insert your kill key. Okay, so I, uh, I customized this uh, kill key right here. It fits right in there. It's, uh, it's been shortened. And then, let me reframe here. Um, and it uh, clears the, uh, the chassis. Um, which I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do, but the uh, it was designed. The chassis was designed for the recharge port to sit just low enough to where you can modify a kill key and put it in there. Um, so thankfully, that you know, that's that's good for for shipping purposes. Uh, so the saber won't turn on while it's shipping. Um, yeah. So uh, whenever you, if you need to make SD card changes, always put your kill key in. Um, don't ever pop your SD card out without your kill key in there. Make sure power is cut to the Sabre. Or, I mean, if you, if you don't have the kill key on hand, you can use a charger or something. Just plug something. Just plug it into the recharge port, cut power to the Sabre, and then remove your SD card and you can make all your changes. Um, I won't go into that now. As far as I'm aware, this is Paul's first, uh, first Sabre. So I'm just giving them a quick rundown of how it operates. Um, yeah. So then, so when you receive when you receive the uh, the hilt, it will have the kill key in here. So all you got to do is just unscrew the the pommel like you saw, and then pull the kill key out. There's Obi Wan saying hello there, and then you just screw the bottom end back on. There we go. So this is uh, 
Graflex 4 HD Remastered, I believe, from Juan Sith. Eh, doesn't work so well when you're on the table. To switch your sound fonts, hold down the power button, you'll hear one beep, and then you hear a second beep, and that second beep will advance to your next sound font. The first beep is for activating it in mute mode, so you hold and wait for the first beep, and then you let go and it'll turn on in mute mode, and then you can shut it off. And I have it set to where it's mute on power off, so it'll shut off silently. Uh, which is useful for if you're swinging it around at night or what have you. Um, yeah, so this is, I believe this is light meat. Yeah, this is light meat. Switch again, and this is gray meat. Get a good close up of some of this weathering here. Um, Paul sent me some reference photos to use, so it's it's not it's not terribly weathered. There's there's you know some some wear and tear on the grenade section where your hand would be, and then I did I painted and weather painted excuse me and weathered up this uh, the bottom part of the grenade section. Uh, most of the reference shots he sent me were or had this part uh darkened which is accurate and it's um it is also something i prefer for a k4 rather than the full just solid shiny brass uh neck and then this was uh worn down with steel wool if anyone doesn't know this originally comes black and then you take some steel wool and you can wear down the anodizing for a, a more like blackened steel look and then there's a a, a hint of weathering on the, uh, the clamp here, particularly in the grooves. I just wanted them to pop a little bit more. And then just a little bit on the end of the pommel here. Um, yeah. So, uh, Paul, this will be coming out to you shortly. The uh, shipping label's printed and everything. and So I just got to run to the post office and drop it off. Um... Uh, let me know if you need a charger. I mean, I've already messaged you about one, but if you need a charger, I will uh, provide one from the Custom Saber Shop for you, uh, in case you do. I will also be including a an Allen key and um, maybe an extra retention screw, just in case, because I don't know about you guys, but I lose retention screws every once in a while, so... Um, yeah! So that uh, that about does it. Oh, silly me. Forgot to show you how to install your blade. So I got a little bit of blade stock here. I find that the shorter stuff is better for videos. So you, uh, your emitter is reverse threaded. So it, it unthreads opposite from what we're used to. And then over here you'll see your your LED retention screw right there. And then your blade retention screw is right there. So uh, it can be tough because it's 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 only a couple of threads. So sometimes you'll end up like just accidentally pulling the uh, the screw out. So you push it all the way down, and it's seated against the LED. And then you just tighten a bit. Don't over tighten. Um, usually, like finger tight is is good. And then you just, oops, you just re-screw it back on. Bring it down a little bit so you can see the actual blade there. Yeah. 
So uh, I think that about does it. Um, Paul, if you have any questions, please message me and let me know. Um, otherwise, oh, excuse me. Otherwise, this will be on its way to you shortly. Actually, by the time the videos are, by the time the video is uploaded, it'll be uh, it'll be uh, on its way to you. So, uh, Paul, I, I appreciate your patience. Thank you very much. I know it took um, a bit longer than we expected, um, especially with the 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 neck issue. Um, there's always, you know, unforeseen issues and stuff like that. But I appreciate your patience. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoy your saber. So, have a good one, everybody. And may the Force be with you.